welcome to WEH videos. My name is Skip and I had a request to plan a flight from Hokatika, New Zealand to Nelson, New Zealand. This is a flight of about 130 miles and we are going to set up a flight plan using the Garmin 530 with approach. So we're going to fly from Hokatika, New Zealand to Nelson, New Zealand. For the approach, we're going to need information off an approach plate for Nelson. So let's take a look at their approach plate. Alright, so right here is the airport runway, and we're going to go into Nelson to runway 02. So here's the runway, and this is our approach plate, and this is going to be our nav in GNSS, or that's uh, global Navigation Satellite System, or GPS. We're going to use our GPS for this flight. And as you can see, we have three initial point fixes. We have the winds, guard, and quail. And since we're coming up north here, that's what we're going to use. We are going to use the guard initial fix. So that's where we are going to start our approach. Also, we need to look at altitudes. We see at the IF fix, we need to be at 3,900 feet. And at the FFO2 fix, we need to be at 1,800 feet. And at the MAO2, we need to be at about 500 feet. If we do a missed approach, we will head off on a course of 002 degrees out to the Tasman holding point. You can also see that from the IFO2 point, we will be flying on a heading of 040 until we get to the FFO2 point. Then we will make another turn to heading 019, and we will fly that course down to the missed approach point. If we can see the runway, we will continue on there with our landing. Since we're using the Garmin to fly this approach, it will fly these headings for us. We will not have to make these turns. The Garmin, the autopilot, will do that for us. But we will need to control the descent. To determine the rest of the flight plan, uh, we're going to go to skyvector.com and we're going to type in NZHK. This would be the Hokitika Airport. And we're going to click on Go. And here we are. Let's zoom in a little bit. Right here is Hokitika. Let's click on that. And we're just going to click Plan. And we're going to add that to the plan. And then we're going to go to Nelson, which is up here. And we're going to click on that. We'll add it to the plan. And now we have our route. And what we can do now is go to the World Low View. And this will show us some fixes that we can enter into the GPS. So let's zoom in on our route here and see what we have. You'll notice there we have a H307. Now this is New Zealand, so I'm not quite familiar with um, how they call these. But in the US, we call these Victor Airways. And this is an airway. And so we're just going to fly this airway, this H307, and we can see right here we have a Riley waypoint or fix, uh, a Vasla waypoint, and then we have an Adipo waypoint. So we're going to enter those three waypoints into our GPS, and that will get us to our approach position. All right. So let's go ahead and enter our flight plan. We open up the GPS, get it up here. We click on flight plan. We push the cursor button. And now we're going to do our first waypoint, which is Riley. R. I. L. Y. Let's go the other way for Y. And we hit
hit enter and it says New Zealand and that's what we want so we hit enter again and we're going to accept it and that's how you enter your waypoints now I'm going to go ahead and finish entering this flight plan I'm assuming that you know how to use your GPS in this tutorial here so I'm going to pause now and we'll be back after the flight plan has been loaded alright I've got the flight plan in and our last waypoint is the Nelson Airport, NZNS. Now we'll click on the Procedure button, and it says Select an Approach. We hit Enter. We're going to select the RNAV2 GPS Approach, and we hit Enter. And we have our options, and there's Guard. That's what we decided we were going to use. We hit Enter. And it asks us to load it or activate it. And we just want to load it here. So we hit enter. And now when we go back to our flight plan, you will see that we have our waypoints and then our approach. And what we need to do now is delete NZNS. We don't want to go from Adipo straight to Nelson. We want to go through the approach. So we are going to clear this and we're going to hit yes and now we are going to go right to Adipo and then we will activate our approach once we get past Adipo so there's our flight plan next we need to determine our in-flight altitude so let's go back to skyvector.com and we're going to click over here where it says world VFR and now we can see some altitudes. We have 6,200, 8,300. Let's back out a little bit, look at our route. And so we've got 8,700. Let's zoom in a bit up here. All right, the highest I see is 8,600. So when we're flying on a heading between 180 and 359 degrees, we should fly at even thousands plus 500. So that would be like 10,500, 12,500, and so on. And if we're flying between a course of 360 degrees and 179 degrees, we should fly at odd thousands. So that'd be like 11,500, 13,500. But looking at our, our mountains that we have to crossover. We want to make sure we're at the right altitude. So we're going to take the 8,000 and we're going to add 1,000 to that, 9,000. We want to be at an odd altitude and 9,000 is too low. So let's take 11,500 and that'll be our cruising altitude for this flight, 11,500. All right, we've done all the flying stuff with the towers. We told them what we're going to do. We've been cleared for takeoff, and away we go. Now, I'm not going to fly this whole flight here. I'm just going to take us to the approach point. So once I get the airplane airborne, like we're doing here, and I'm going to activate the GPS, and let's just make sure everything's set. Very good going to go down here and we're going to select autopilot and navigate <clears throat> and we should be flying directly to our first waypoint which is Riley okay so that's it for here I'm going to pause this and I'm hoping you guys all know how to fly the airplane get it up to the right altitude so we're going to pick this up at Riley and we'll go through the waypoints really quick. All right, we're 10 seconds out from Riley. Now, I did make a change here, I'm sorry. hope this doesn't mess you up, but I have changed the altitude from 11,500 feet to 9,500 feet. After reviewing all this, I realize um, that's plenty of altitude here to cover the mountains we're going to be flying over. All right, so now we're flying from Riley de Bosla, and we'll pick it up at Basla, I guess it is, Bosla, Basla. All right, we're just a few seconds out from Basla, Bosla, not really sure how to pronounce this. 
and then we will continue on our next leg which is from Basla to Adipo. So we will pick this up at Adipo and from there we will go into our approach. Hi, so here we are coming up on Adipo and I hate to do this to you but I'm not going to be able to finish this tutorial in one video so I think it's best to stop here. We'll continue on in part two with our approach coming from Adipo on to Guard. So again, I'm sorry that this has to be split up, but I thank you so much for watching. If you like this, please click the like button. If you would like to leave a comment, that would be great. Thanks again so much for watching, and God bless.